वेलकम टू एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कंपेरिजन ऑफ ए एम एंड एफ एम रिसीवर इन दिस सेशन सो हियर वी आर डील विथ टू कंपेयर ए एम रिसीवर एंड एफ एम रिसीवर बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स सो लेट एस बिगिन दिस सेशन विथ फर्स्ट पैरामीटर दैट इज ऑन विच प्रिंसिपल ए एम एंड एफ एम रिसीवर फंक्शन सो यू विल बी फाइंडिंग लाइक सी बोथ आर फंक्शनिंग एज पर super heterodyne receiver right where i have already explained we are deal with to have transmission at higher frequency and we are deal with to have processing on signal at lower frequency so on that principle only super heterodyne receiver is functioning and uh, am and fm receiver both works with super heterodyne type receiver assembly when we talk about rf amplifiers so you'll be finding like see in am receiver rf amplifier is optional but in fm receiver rf amplifier is mandatory so it is compulsory to use rf amplifier in fm receiver with super heterodyne receiver while in case of am receiver it is optional when we talk about limiter circuit then it is not used in am receiver while it is used after if amplifier in fm receiver so this is what we need to use it along with automatic gain control circuit when we talk about dm phase is circuit so that is not used in am receiver but it is used in fm receiver when we say automatic gain control so that is there after detector in am receiver while it is there after limiter in fm receiver and as i have told you limiter circuit that is what we are connecting it after if amplifier so after if amplifier there will be limiter circuit and after limiter circuit there will be automatic gain control while after detector we have automatic gain control circuit which is there with am receiver as if we see what is if frequency intermediate frequency with am receiver then that is around 470 kilohertz while in case of fm receiver that if frequency is there at 10.8 megahertz input frequency range if you see that then in am receiver there are two different range one is there from 530 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz and second range is there from 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz while in case of fm receiver we all know fm receiver frequency range is from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz quality of sound when you see then quality of sound is better in fm receiver compared to am receiver right so we can say fm receiver sound quality is superior compared to am radio capture effect is present in fm receiver while capture effect is not present in am receiver when we talk about cost then am receiver is costlier than fm receiver while fm receiver is cheaper than am receiver right and uh, you'll be finding size then size of am receiver is big compared to fm receiver so these are the parameters on which we can identify which type of receiver should be there with different system i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future I'll make videos which will resolve your issues. Thank you so much for watching this video.